Yeah, my wonderful people, greetings to you all. Oh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are. Hello, I welcome you all to this uh, early morning broadcast. I can remember say, my name never changes, still remain. I'm on the button live from the platform of Okute Daily Talk. I'm on this uh, the issue of uh, Bola Ahmed Tunumbu's uh, drug dealings in the US is really taking another different dimension. Uh, because uh, as it stands now, uh, even uh, uh, Grand Span and uh, so called uh, David Hundu Yen is not giving up. Uh, even when the, the so called uh, Supreme Court of Nigeria have concluded the issue, uh, mandating, sorry, um, uh, validating the, 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 the presidency of uh, Bola Ahmed Tunumbu. But uh, as it stands now, uh, FBI informs the US court of former mob stars' death. Allegedly linking to Mr. President Bola Ahmed Adekunle Tunumbu. Um, it seems like uh, this, our so called president, have a lot of um, um, skeletons in his cupboard that have made uh, things very difficult. Even as it stands now, uh, even FBI is working against the, 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 the masses. They really, uh, according to the news, or according to the intel, that uh, the, 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 the files that uh, related to Tunumbu with this uh, mob star, um, the ABI, instead of presenting the original copy of uh, the documents to the court, they choose to edit it and remove the name of uh, our Oga Presdo, who happens to be the head of the cartel between uh, 1980 and thereabout. And uh, well, uh, why I'm bringing this news to my people is let on I know, say, my dear, it is Biafra or nothing because this is uh, international uh, disgrace that we are getting from only one man that have decided to hold the country hostage. Well, I didn't blame him. I must have, uh, have to blame uh, the so-called Nigerians who uh, are against all, all odds. We tell you, oh, nothing that happened. Let us continue. After all, uh, you have only four or eight years to stay. But uh, the person you are giving four or eight years to stay is just like a leprosy. It's a, like a leprosy. Once he enter your skin, my dear, <laughs> to go out, eh? let me say the whole uh, world have to <laughs> have to voice out before this man can be able to let Nigeria be. This man want to live almost two hundred years uh, on earth. I'm talking about a Bola Ahmed Tunumbu. If you agree with me, you find out that he have already occupied Lagos stage. Now he's occupying nigeria and when he succeed in holding nigeria hostage then you will know the true the true meaning of a uh, bola Ahmed tunumbu anyway um, i don't want to talk much so that uh, it will not be like uh, i am the one that is uh, concocting all these lies this is unwritten and uh, i will uh, just read it to my people now so that you people can also judge uh, judge uh, on your own instinct and let me let me know at the comment section what you think about this issue whether the FBI have been corrupted the same way our judiciary, police, EFCC, DSS have, uh, are also corrupted in Nigeria. But it seems like the FBI have compromised. Because I could remember uh, since last year, 2022, Grand Span, that uh, activists and also David Hundu Yen make a request through their court for them to release every file that have to do with uh, Bola Ahmed Tunumbu on the issue of uh, drugs, dealings, uh, money laundering and the rest of them and they promise that uh, those documents will be released before uh, sorry um, 26th and 20 to 28th of August 2023 now August have come and gone these people when it is time for them to release it then they said uh, there's a motion to stop the rele to release the documents well uh, it seems like uh, what uh, my instinct is telling me is still the truth that the problem the so-called Nigeria is having is from the U.S., U.K., Canada, and the rest of them. That is exactly what I'm seeing here because these people have nothing, have nothing whatsoever to offer to the Nigerians other than to help their, 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 their corrupted officials and corrupted uh, government, uh, uh, I mean, uh, corrupted presidents. Uh, give them position. That is exactly what happened during the time of uh, Muhammad Buhari. Where be, where be said that the U.S. have already warned that Bamar Buhari must surely be the president and they give him conditions which they help him to rig the election. The condition they gave to him is what? Is uh, he must not uh, do what? He must not touch anything uh, regarding insecurity. And that is what Bamar Buhari did. The number of people that died on the eight years of uh, Bamar Buhari's reign is more than what is dying in uh, Hamas and the Israeli war. If you people take 
uh, actual record or if the nigeria bureau of statistics mbs can come out and tell us the truth of exactly how many people that died anyway but wonderful people i beg go let us uh, read in between the lines so that two people go know say even our press though you don't there for inside the super or the super no be small super and the only way uh, for us and the only hope of for us is the independent of uh, biafra without biafra my dear all these things can never come in place and i'm still blaming uh, other activists or other uh, freedom fighters, the likes of uh, um, uh, Sunday Boho, who recently uh, been released from a uh, Bene prison. And even the Decoas Court have mandated the, uh, uh, the Bene, Bene country, I be yeah, to pay Sunday Iboho the sum of 20 million sefa of Francais. So, my wonderful people, I don't hear more, and I saw it in take me. So, make on a like, share, comment, and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more and more interesting videos coming your way. So, let us read in between the lines. There's no time to take time. The Federal Bureau of Investigation, FBI, has reported to a federal high court in the United States that a former Chicago mob star who had connections with Ebola Ahmed Tunumbu of the world have given up the ghost. That's he don't kick bucket, he don't die. This announcement was made on Wednesday during an ongoing Freedom of Information lawsuit at the United States District Court for the District of Columbia in the Washington, D.C. According to the People's Gazette, the U.S. authorities said in a court filing, in a light of receiving information that appears to confirm Mr. Edwards' death, uh, DEA has begun its search for responsive uh, records pertaining to him. Officials uh, did not say when and how Edwards died, even though the revelation was framed in a way that suggests it might affect the timeline of future disclosure in the ongoing matter concerning Bola Ahmed Tunumbu and his uh, gang, which uh, he is the, 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 the capon uh, during, uh, uh, in those days, 1980 or thereabout, or 1979. The platform claimed that the announcement followed the government's efforts to conceal information relating to Tunumbu's involvement in an expansive uh, drug business in Chicago, uh, Chicago. People's Gazette further stated that the government had previously released documents that showed Edwards alongside Tunumbu was a prominent member of a drug mafia that operated in the northwestern U.S. in the 1980s. Investigators believe Tunumbu was a leader of the syndicate as of that time. And at the Yaram, yet our court don't see anything different that a drug lord and also a, a, a money launderer, the, 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 the offense that even the international community condemned is what uh, is hanging on the neck of the so-called president of the Republic of Nigeria. Yet, they made him president through Magumago, through Uruwuru, by INEC, and also validated it by the so-called um, uh, court judiciary that have been bought over. But documents relating to Tulumbu are still uh, being concealed, with the FBI submitting contradictory statements to the court. Aaron Grandspan, a public transparency activist who filed a Freedom of Information suit in collaboration with the Nigerian journalist David Hunduyin, said the FBI has been downplaying the volume of uh, records relating to the Nigeria president and the, uh, in, in, in uh, its uh, positions. The FBI and other federal authorities have not uh, conducted uh, an adequate search and are under representing the number of pages responsive then to Grant Spahn's request to hold the court in joint status report entered on December 5 of 2023. The FBI has released hundreds of pages of uh, records relating to Mr. Tunumbu's uh, associate, including Mr. Edwards and Adeboyaga Mwes Akande. The entire file released so far was completely edited to remove Mr. Tunumbu's name or clues as uh, as to his role in that uh, syndicate. Grand Span ordered the court to order the FBI to release the records promptly and exhaustively uh, with Tunumbu's name and role, according to uh, the guy. Uh, he cited uh, the Chicago already public uh, case file that detailed how Tunumbu forfeited over $460,000 US dollars in narcotic proceeds as evidence that the ABI's files on Mr. Tunumbu can no longer be concealed. Rather, they, they have already tried to compromise it. Anyway, all my wonderful people, I don't hear about me, I don't want to talk too much. 
because of the situation on ground. I just want everybody to do what? To listen, hear it, uh, then you make your own choice. Comment at the comment section and let me know what you think because these are the issues that Mazen Namde Khan have already raised some time ago over what is going to happen 2023 and everything have come to pass. And you come out and tell me Mazen Namde Khan is not a hero, my dear, will help. just go and find it and sit down because you don't know what you are saying. Namde Khan still remains a hero and a prophet until tomorrow. Prophet of the God of Juku uh, Kabiyama, uh, or uh, well, my wonderful people, now here me, I go take bar break you. I'm coming back again with another blockbuster on our way down. Greetings to you all. Please like, share, comment, and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more and more interesting videos coming your way. I am signing out to be right back again with another blockbuster. Bye for now, my people. Kenesiano.